All right, so guys, this is just a quick view of how to um, how to set up your chassis if you do decide to get this chassis for your sumo crawler. Uh, I went ahead and put the springs on my shocks. Uh, these are actually brand new shocks; they have not been modded. I will show you guys how to mod them later. Uh, I kept the chassis clear so you can see the inside. Now, this is just one way to set up your chassis. You don't have to go this route; you can do it differently. Uh, what I've decided to do is to actually put the ESC up top and um, as you can see I'm running the bigger motor motor it's a big block from the servo so um, kind of focus that thing right there alright so that's the bigger can motor did that purposely one that's the one I'm using now so I might as well show it with that one but two it's bigger so it's harder to fit things in the chassis having that bigger motor in there now I also put brand new servos with the, the wire in there just because it's so much more wire I haven't cut them down just to prove that you can still fit all that wire inside of the chassis even if you um, decided not to cut it down like you should I think um, also I left all the plugs in there which take up a lot more room and I left all the wire without being cut so that you can see it can, it can still fit inside of the chassis. It's a really small chassis, as small as I was able to make it, but it's also big enough to fit all your electronics in there. Now these guys that you see on the side, these black little pieces, that's actually my battery. Uh, on this setup, I'm actually running 250 milliamps uh, 2S batteries. I just put one cell on this side and the other cell on the other side with uh, red wire, which I don't know if you'll be able to see here, which connects the cells one to the other. Now the, you'll see that the charging port, if I can do this one-handed, is right here. Okay, shit, right there. Okay. So, there. That's your charging port. Um, and if I was able to show you, you will see that you push that guy in there and it's out of the way. Now, just to make it a little bit easier to um, turn it on and off, I've put the on and off switch on top of the rear servo and uh, the wire clears everything once the, you know, the sumo goes up and down so nothing crashes in there. Uh, I've also shortened the rods that come from the top of the transmission. Let me see if I can get a better view from the other side. Uh, I guess right down there. That shiny thing right there, that's that metal plate you get from the factory. That usually sits right about here. I shortened it so that I could set that plate lower and put the ESC on top. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If you don't want to go with the uh, split cells design like I've done uh, you can leave that plate all the way up and you can actually lower it if you want to but uh, you can leave it where it goes and then you can put the 180 milliamp battery right under the plate like I had it on my other video it will be kinda like this right under that plate you could actually lower it down like I did here as well and put it there it'll give you a lower center of gravity but if you don't want to cut those posts on your transmission and transfer case then you don't really have to that plate will be up here it'll clear everything and the battery will just sit right under it leaving the sides of the chassis empty so you can put the ESC on either side I suggest putting it on what was it the right side no yeah it was the right side because then when the whole thing flexes it'll have a slight difference in weight towards this side to keep it from flexing so much. Um, this is a side view. You can see the only thing that's sticking out is these guys right here. And that's only because I didn't put the ESC all the way back. You see you've got some room in there that you could have put that guy back a little more. And this wouldn't show on the chassis. That was kind of a boo-boo on my part. Um, so everything fits in there. Now, this right here this is where the chassis connects to the metal plate I guess right here I have no washers to give me extra width but you're able to put different washers in there two millimeter washers 
to widen the, the stance of the chassis. That way you can fit better, bigger batteries in there. I've been able to put all the way up to 350 milliamp hour batteries in there uh, by widening the chassis. So uh, these little guys right here, these are the rods that you have on your Sumo. Since you're not using them on the stock locations anymore, you can use them pretty much wherever you want to. I decided to place them on the third um, shock point, which I drill into the chassis when I make it for you guys, and on the shocks themselves to get a stability. Now in the front, you're not going to be able to put it with the shocks because that motor is in the way, so I just put it all the way up in the front. Now this hole, I don't make for you guys on the chassis. You can make this hole if you want. You can use that one right there, the second one that you see right now. That one I do drill for you guys, for you to put that bar in there. But I just say, what the heck, let me show them what it looks like. That's what it would look like if you put an extra hole on the chassis. Put that bar right there. You don't really need a bar up top, but if you wanted to, you could also put one here. You have four uh, from the Sumo factory, so you could put one there, one there, one on the rear shock, and one on the back. You know, stiffen everything up. Not that you need it, the chassis is hard enough as it is. But uh, pretty much that's it. All of it fits inside of the chassis. And uh, I'm going to take this guy for a ride to show you guys how it performs with the springs instead of the droop setup. And uh, let you guys be the, you know, make your own decisions as to whether you want to go this route or not. Alright, thanks. Alright guys, so before I show it running, I just wanted to show you something real quick. Um, this is the chassis mounted on the sumo crawler. Now when I did this, I did it so that it would actually fit inside of the body of the sumo, the original body. I actually took measurements and made sure that it did. Because sometimes you just get tired of a single look on your sumo crawler. And because that chassis fits so nicely inside of this body, you'll be able to revert back to your sumo body if you so decide to. You know, it doesn't change anything on it. It just leaves it to where you could use the, the original and, uh, you know, go back and forth on your, I guess, your style. Uh, this is the actual original chassis without, I mean, not chassis, original body without doing any trimming to it or anything. Daddy. So you can sit, see, a little bit, babe. You're back! Yes, I'm back. It actually fits lower than it did on stock sumo chassis, which makes it look even better. And uh, this is just um, a Volkswagen um, body that I have that I want to mount on it. It's, it's too soft, so I'm going to make a, a stronger one. And... Uh, but just to kind of show you size-wise, it would fit pretty good in there in the Sumo. But um, that's just another route you can go. Uh, because that Sumo is so thin, you can just put pretty much any body you want on it. And it'll fit in there. You just got to put the, the post for it to accept the body. And you have those from the Sumo originally, so it's not going to be an issue. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, along with the decals that I give you guys with the kit uh, that you could put any kind of window scheme that you want you also have the ability to revert back to your original bodies or aftermarket bodies and all kinds of things anyway hope that helps thanks